this is um, XBMC running on the Raspberry Pi and I thought I'd record experiences of different video formats that are playing. So this is a SD video, uh, a DVD rip that's playing um, and this one is streaming from my Media Centre machine and this one is playing fine. So we know that's SD with MP3 audio and that's working fine. So this one is an MKV um, with Dolby Digital 5.1 and I can't get any audio out of that at all. Uh, so it's while it's playing in 720p okay, there's no audio and uh, there's no option to change the audio. So this is a recorded TV file, a WTV file that I converted using Handbrake to MP4. See this is playing fine, streaming over the network from a media center machine downstairs. This is another recorded TV file converted to M4V. Uh, run it 1080p with the AAC audio. And again, this is running fine, no problem at all. Streaming from my MIDI center machine. Now I'm going to try this AVI container. So this is um, an SD MP3 audio. Again, no problem at all. I've tried some of the HD uh, recorded TV files from DVB-T and uh, that use DVB-T2 and uh, they won't play. So I can get some files to play but mainly just audio on them and uh, so they don't and the, and the HD ones don't play at all. But the ones I converted to M4, MP4 um, or M4V work absolutely fine. So now I'm going to try adding live TV uh, to XBMC on the Raspberry Pi using the HD Home Run. The HD Home Run is a listed device. So there I browse and that's found my HD Home Run. Okay, so there's my HD Home Run listed. So let's uh, see if we can pick anything up. Now there's currently no stream on it, so it's going to say there's nothing to play because what we can't seem to do from here is to actually control what's playing. So as you can see here, it's it's failed. But what I've got here on the iPad installed is TV Streamer, a app for controlling HD Home Run. So I load that up. I pick BBC One, and now it loads another player called uh, another app called Good Player. So there's live TV now on the iPad. So if I go here and try and pick that, it stops it from the iPad, and hopefully that should come up on here. With the one and a half twist, her hips were quite piked. So it's not perfectly smooth, but it is working. And then we get some audio break up, and uh, this is the problem I found um, all along. It's, it, it works for a bit, and then we get this audio break up. We get the subtitles as well, and I'll put that as far as we get. Now, what I can do is go back to the TV streamer. Try changing the channel. Right, so I've changed it back now so that I've got BBC Two running on on my iPad here. And I try and take over it from XBMC. The clock upbraids me with a waste of time. And then we get the break up. So. In fact, let's try a, um, a lower bandwidth channel. So we've got Sky News here running on the iPad. Let's go and have a look, see if we can take the stream. Three, after England were bowled out today for 398, first wickets uh, to fall for the West Indies was that of Adrian Barrett. He would make 24 in a promising West Indies start when Tim Bresnan didn't get a wicket the first time around. The video is out of sync, but on the lower bandwidth channel it seems to work better. Kieran Powell is... And then now it's starting to break up. So now I'm going to try adding uh, the... DLNA or UPnP server of my media centre machine and that and we'll see if we can see what we can pick up from here.
Right, let's just try and play a TV file. So that's going to try playing this file, and this was a file that we couldn't play before through the file system. Right, that's uh, bombed out, so that's not going to going to play that. So let's have a go at uh, some video. So this is one of the AVI files that uh, worked before, and that one works. So that's just streaming over DLNA. So as you can see. Um, some formats work, some formats don't. I know other people have had different success, more success with WeTV files. I've had no luck with those so far. Well, definitely when converted with Handbrake, there's no problem at all. And uh, I'm sure I can get the live TV working with a bit more uh, persistence. So that's it for this video round. You can see what works and what doesn't work. Handbrake conversions definitely seem to be the best way to go. But uh, I'll keep the post updated. And if you get any feedback, let me know. Ian at the